Today, we're diving into the biggest upgrades transforming the MQ-9 Reaper and Sea Guardian drones. These changes are shifting how the US and allies deploy unmanned aircraft, from simple ISR and strike platforms into persistent networked multi-mission assets. The Block 5 Extended Range Reaper adds wing fuel pods, reinforced landing gear, and new fuel management software. That stretches endurance beyond 30 hours. In practice, a single Reaper can now watch a choke point or convoy route for over a day, cutting down sorties and logistics. The second big leap, in-flight weapon retargeting. Using Link-16, a Reaper can send mid-course updates to a net-enabled missile. That means a ship, jet, or ground launcher can fire from standoff range, and the Reaper guides the weapon all the way to a moving target. This is a game-changer for distributed lethality. The MQ-9B adds a certifiable ground control station and a detect and avoid system with radar, TCS, and ADSB. This allows Reapers to legally fly in civil airspace, meaning they can deploy from coalition bases and operate alongside civilian traffic. It makes integration with allies far easier. With the Sea Spray 7500E ESA radar, Reapers detect tiny targets, like periscopes or fast boats, in rough seas and poor weather. Add EORR and wide area motion imagery, and a single drone can classify and track dozens of contacts at once. The Sea Guardian variant now drops and monitors Sonoboys. That turns it into a forward anti submarine sensor. It can hand tracks directly to helicopters or attack subs, extending fleet defenses at a fraction of the cost of manned ASW patrols. By 2026, Saab and GA ASI plan to field an airborne early warning package on the MQ 9B. Imagine persistent AWACS-style radar coverage at a fraction of the cost, able to queue fighters and ship-based air defenses. A baseline Reaper airframe costs around $30 million, but full packages with GCS and sensors can top $100 million per aircraft. Each upgrade pod, radar, SDS, or AEW, runs in the millions. That makes the Reaper family high-value assets, not expendable drones, and doctrine is shifting accordingly. These upgrades transform the Reaper from a tactical hunter-killer into a persistent networked theater asset, guiding weapons, patrolling oceans, and even providing early warning. Future deployments will treat the MQ-9 less like a single-mission drone and more like an essential node in a global sensor and strike web. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more deep dives into the future of military technology.